Hey everybody, it's me, Tom Papa. Today, I'm going to open up to you in a very special episode of Getting Baked with Tom Papa. I make mistakes. I am not the perfect bread baker that I sometimes pretend to be and that I know you want me to be. We all fail. And I feel like I should share that with you today to make you feel better about failing. There's nothing wrong with screwing up. I screw up all the time in life, in comedy. It's just what happens. And that's all right. You gotta feel that you have the room in your life to fail. That's why you get better at things. And I figure this is a good opportunity to show you some of the things that could go wrong. I'm going to go and get you two breads right now. Two breads that I made the other day. They did not come out well. I knew they weren't going to come out well. Enough excuses. I'm gonna go get them. I'm filled with shame. I apologize. Look how flat this is. Look how sad. It's, look at that. That's not a great bread. You can see it wanted to rise. It tried to. It tried to in the middle, and then just flattens out on the sides. It's upsetting. But it's okay. In the beginning, this happens a lot. You might get lucky and have some good ones, and then you go through a period of making bad ones. I'll tell you exactly what happened with this. This is a result of rushing and then not paying attention. I started mixing the dough the other day. I got the starter going and I kept missing the opportunity to put it into the dough the next day. I had work, I had all these different things going on. So I kept feeding the starter, which is okay. You can do that. You can start feeding the starter. It gets all bubbly. And that happens when you're out at work or doing whatever you're doing, hitting golf balls, playing Frisbee, Dungeons and Dragons, whatever you're doing, and you miss the opportunity. That's okay, feed it again. Dump all of it down to about a tablespoon, feed it again, get it all bubbly, and when you're home and in sync, you can put it into your dough. I stretched and folded, I was doing all the right thing, and then I knew I had to leave the house. And if I shaped the bread at about two and a half hours, this would not have worked. So I decided, okay, I'll go out, I'll go about my life, I'll come back, I'll get the bread having risen for about four hours. That's kind of as long as you wanna go, four hours. And it'll still have structure, it will still be able to be made into, into bread. The problem is when it goes too long and you leave it too long, those strands those gluten strands that are helping you uh, create the architecture of the bread, they get too expansive, too loose. It's like making a bridge with wires that are too fibrous. You need structure, it needs strength, and that's why around three hours is really the perfect time to do it. Four hours, maybe. If it's cold out, if it's hot, then you're, it's a whole different thing. You need shorter amount of time if it's hot. But, the temperature that I was working with, around 70 degrees here in the house, four hours is pushing it. I don't know what I did. I don't know what I was doing. You should set a timer on your phone, really, so you know exactly where you're at and you remind you, because it's easy to forget. You go out into the world, you're dealing with your life. You don't think, oh, I've got to get home and deal with the bread, unless a timer goes off. I didn't have a timer. I came home, it was about five hours, maybe even a little bit more. It looks nice, sitting there in the tub. It was all big and fluffy, but I knew from experience this probably isn't going to go well. But you need to try and get lucky. You think maybe this will work. It's okay. Shaped it, poured it out, shaped it, formed the two lobes, put it in the refrigerator, put it into the baskets, put it into the refrigerator. This was the second mistake. One of the baskets is big. Look at the size of this one. It's a little bigger than this guy. This is too wide. So I have something that's too loose put into a structure that is too wide. Not good, not good. 
It's okay, this isn't a tragedy, it's just bread. Here's some things that you should know. When you are shaping it, if it's too loose and it's never really getting that structure, you know you've, the time has passed, it's probably, you're gonna fail. Keep trying. Put it into the Dutch oven, it just started to spread out. As soon as it came out of the basket, it was just spreading out a little bit. That's not gonna, you know there's not enough structure there, but still thinking maybe I'll get lucky. Put it in, 20 minutes later, open it up, bleh, this is just sitting in there. And you know at that point, you failed. There's no way it's coming back. It's not gonna get stronger. It's just not going to be something that's going to be big and delicious. You just know. You need a really good knife to get through these. This has also been sitting around for a little while. Yeah, it takes a little effort. Not terrible. It was on its way. You can see there's bubbles at the bottom and then this is all so dense. There's just nothing there. Whatever. It's like a kid that's like, Dad, if you just showed up and, and uh, threw the ball with me a little bit more, I would have been good in the game. I've <laughs> had them come out much worse than this. Now, Tom, you seem like you're chipper. You seem like this isn't so painful for you. You seem like you failed and yet you still have a little bounce in your step. You're still willing to come on and tell us about it on the YouTubes. Why, Tom? Why? Because I didn't quit. I made another bread. Same starter, did the whole thing, but I was around, I didn't have work. I was able to tend to it the right amount of time, shape it at the right amount of time, do everything correctly, and you know, when I took them out, right, Maya? When I took them out in the baskets, it looked like this is going to be something decent. When I put them into the Dutch oven, you knew they had structure. It was very hopeful. Be very surprised if they didn't come out well. I'm gonna go get those. Yep. We're back, baby. We are back. The time was spent, the rules were followed, and look at that. Look at that. That didn't try and get up, that exploded. It was ready to go, the structure was there, it was filled with steam, it was filled with water. Kerbluey, victory. From failure comes success. So it's okay, don't feel so bad about yourself. If you fall down the stairs, uh, try again. If you ask someone on a date and they say no, leave them alone. Don't try with them. Go home. But try with somebody else. If you make a flatbread, big deal. Keep on going. You'll succeed. It smells so good. I like to leave the parchment paper inside the Dutch ovens for like weeks at a time. I know. It's kind of gross. It turns all brown and it gets kind of crunchy, but it feels like, why do you have to replace this all the time? Because this is like annoying. This is like a little crafts thing I'm doing right now. I'm not good with crafts. I never, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> make a little snowflake. I was never good at that. I'm not good at uh, crafty things. You gotta throw it in there. So then I just let it stay until it really incinerates. Bum, 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 bum. Get your water, your lamb. I feel like people would learn what we're doing, right? Like there's some tips, like scissors and things. Ooh, beautiful. Ah. They look hopeful. They look like uh, they're gonna be pretty good. Time to put them in. See, now this one we took a lot of time with and I feel like we are in a position where we should succeed. This shouldn't fail like the other ones. Yeah. Yep, that looks good. Feels good. It's in a good shape. Ready to steam up. There you go. Godspeed, little bread. Go. Try not to let too much heat escape. Keep it hot. It's in good shape. Ready? Okay. Go! 
out. Whew. Fingers crossed. You can't see because there's mittens on them. Alexa, set a timer, please. 20 minutes. One minute, starting now. Alexa, cancel timer. Alexa, set a timer, please. Timer for how long? 20 minutes. One hour and 20 minutes. Why would she say one hour, 20 minutes? Alexa, cancel timer. One more time. Alexa, set a timer, please. Timer for how long? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Yes. She's really troublesome. Are you ready, Maya? Let's see. Oh, that looks good. Look at that, Maya. Let me turn the light on so it's even more beautiful. Oh, look at that. Maya, look at that. See, that's success. And you knew it was gonna be successful. I knew those other ones were gonna be bad. I just knew it. I just knew they were gonna be bad. Oh, baby. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. Wow, these are beautiful. See? These were not rushed. This time was taken. And you know you've got something great. Ah, oh, so pleasant. Just know you've got something great. Now you're just putting it in for the final touches to make it a little better. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Nice and dark. Too crazy. Bum, 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 bum. Beautiful. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, make sure you like it. Make sure you subscribe. We're gonna keep going. We have, we're gonna have more guests. We're gonna have more bread. We're gonna do different things. This is, I'm not going away. So why don't you just hang out and enjoy your life with me? Bye. Ooh, they do smell good.